ever been outside on a blue sky day and you looked up and you saw clouds that looked like they were made out of whipped cream or cotton candy. You ever seen one made out of cotton candy? Have you? And what about marshmallows? Are clouds sometimes made out of marshmallows? You like marshmallows? If you could eat the cloud, you'd probably grab it down from the sky and take a bite out of it, wouldn't you? All right, how many of you have ever looked at those clouds and said, oh, look, that one looks just like my dog. Oh, look, that one looks just like my cat, or that one looks like my sister, or that one looks like a dinosaur. Have you, any of you ever done that? No? Would you like to do that? That's what you think it is. Let me find one here that you would probably like. All right. And the, and the grown-ups here can help us with this, too, if they want to. A, a crocodile! A crocodile! All right, anybody? That's a good one. Anybody else? A crocodile. A crocodile? crocodile. Anybody see anything else? Nope. Nope. Well, let's see what Max sees in there. And by the way, you can call me Mr. Max, or some people call me Papa Bear Max. Max sees a mustachio dactylus. Does that look like a mustachio dactylus to you? Nope. It doesn't. Nope. Well, it does to me, so it's my imagination, right? I always use my imagination to think about things that nobody else can think about. And you know what else imagination does for me? It helps me dream. It helps me dream all the things that I want to do and all the things that I want to be. Have y'all already dreamed about what you want to be someday? Hippie the Happy Hippo. I need to tell you a little story about how this got started. About 20 years ago, when my little girl was about your age, she was about four years old, I gave her a little stuffed hippo for a birthday or Christmas or something. And every night after I gave her that hippo, she started asking me, well, Daddy, where did this hippo come from? And I'm thinking, hmm, I'm going to have to tell her something. So I started telling her a little story about Hippie the Happy Hippo. And from that, it grew over the years, and I finally wrote it down, and somebody said, you know, you really should do something with that story. So I finally did. Are you all ready to hear about Hippie the Happy Hippo? Okay. The little hippo lived with his mother, father, brothers, and sisters, and all his other cousins, aunts, uncles, and playmate friends. And he had such a good time playing with them. The little hippo had many playmates and was very, very happy. Now, how would you like to do that? Go to a river and jump on the backs and bounce off the back of a hippo and jump in the water. Would that be fun or what? I think so. I would like to do that. Since the little hippo was so happy and hopped around so much, his mother and father named him Hippie the Happy Hippo. Can y'all say that for me? Hippie the Happy Hippo. Good. All his friends and relatives would call him Hippie because when, he, when they said his name, he would hop around very happily. And there he is in the water with his mama, chasing fish. Y'all like to chase fish when you go swimming? That's a lot of fun, isn't it? Hippie was asleep when the truck came to a sudden stop. The noise woke him up. And then the truck backed up, and a man opened the door to the cage. As Hippie inched out of the cage, he saw a strangely familiar place. It looked a little like where he came from, but it wasn't. It was a zoo, zoo right. Hippie heard the little girl tell her father how cute, yet very sad, the hip baby hippo looked. She told her father she wanted to take the little hippo home with her, 
the father said, but that could never be. Hippie got very excited when he thought how wonderful it would be if he could go home with the little girl with yellow hair. <laughs> Hippie couldn't believe his little floppy ears. Yes, 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 please let me go live with the little girl, Hippie shouted. The fairy then said that the little girl had wished for Hippie <laughs> the same time he had wished for her. Because of this, I can grant your wish said the fairy. Then the fairy also said, all fairies know that whenever two strangers wish for the same thing at the same time, the wish will come true. Did you know that? From then on, Hippie was truly a very, very happy hippo. He became the girl's most favorite thing and she gave Hippie more love, kisses, and hugs than any other hippo in all the land. And that's the story of Hippie the Happy Hippo. And my little girl is 24 years old now, and she still sleeps with her Hippie. You never made a promise? Ooh, that's special. This will be the first one you've ever made. When you make a promise, you always put your hand over your heart because you want everybody to know that you really mean it. Can everybody put your hand over your heart? Everybody put your hand, because this is a promise that everybody can make. Mamas and daddies and aunts and uncles and grandmas and grandpas. Okay, say it after me, okay? You ready? After I say it, you say it. I promise. I will always use my imagination to dream all I can be. I promise to always believe in myself and never, and never give up. If I keep this promise, my dreams and wishes will come true. And if you believe that and think it and imagine it and always dream about it, all your dreams and wishes will come true. Okay? Is that cool or what? Who would like to meet Hippie? Anybody want to see Hippie? I mean the real hippie? Look, there he is. There's the real hippie. What do you think? Does that look like hippie? Nope. Nope, it doesn't. It looks like hippie. It looks like hippie with his fluffy little ears. Well, I want to tell you a little story. Where I look down and I see this little brown hippo. Stuffed hippo. And guess who it was? Hippie's daddy. See if he's in here. Well, there you are. Well, come on. Come on out of there. They're not going to hurt. They're not going to hurt you. Come on. Come on. All right. That's it. Okay. All right. You're all right. You're okay. You're okay. Papa Bear Max. What is it, Papa Hippie? There's, there's a lot of people out here. I don't know. I'm kind of scared. Oh, they're all right. They're not going to hurt you. Look at them. They're just little boys and little girls. See, look, they'll even pet you. See? They're not. <laughs> well, that's pretty much it for a magical wish. And I sure appreciate y'all being here. We had a good time, didn't we? Remember to always use your imagination, never be afraid to dream, and believe in yourself and believe in your dreams, and they will come true. Right? Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye. 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 Dump your own characters. Thank you so much for being here. It's been a real treat. We really My appreciate pleasure. it. Everybody, thank you so much. Help me if you can, I've got to get back to the house that put corn about one. You'd be surprised there's so much to be done. Count on the bees in the high. She saw the clouds from the sky. Back to the 
Christopher Robin.